here I have, still sealed, waiting to be opened, a full box of Pokemon cereal. In fact, I gotta like, I gotta really lay this down so I can trick you guys into like, look, that's the YouTube thumbnail. I did it again. I'm not sorry. This is Pokemon cereal. Now, in case you guys read the schedule and you thought that I obtained a box of the old Pokemon cereal from the year 2000 and that I was going to eat eat that. What's the matter with you? But what this is, is it's basically crunch berries with marshmallows in it. And if I remember correctly, the original Pokemon cereal from the year 2000 was just Lucky Charms with Pokemon-shaped marshmallows in there. These could be anything. They're, they're like lightning bolts and, and Pikachus. In fact, the flavor is called Berry Bolt. I just now noticed that. Hang on. Berry Bolt, naturally flavored with other natural flavors. That doesn't even mean anything anymore. What, what kind of nutrients do we got in here? It's got, uh, the, the thing on the right is with half a cup of skim milk. So we're only looking at the first column. Vitamin D, 10%. Even with skim, skim milk, you ain't getting no D with the skim milk. You gotta drink a whole milk if you want vitamin. Fuck that. Same with the calcium. Iron, 20%. The milk adds no iron. The milk adds potassium, potassium, none. Zero. Magnesium, none. Zero. Phosphorus, I thought, isn't that what they make lights out of? Anyways, you get 6% of your, of your daily recommended intake of phosphorus. And then what, zinc, B6, folate, riboflavin, you get 20% on all those, 10% on everything else. Wait, how much fiber? Only one, only one gram of fiber? So it's not like it's not like this 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 Pokemon is gonna make you have a Poke Bowel movement or anything. It's just it's just rebranded Captain Crunch. I gotta point this out. This is good. It's just called Pokemon. It's not called anything else. It's not the name of this stream is Pokemon Cereal, because that's what it is, but it's just Pokemon. It's not Pokemon Balls, it's not Pokeballs, it's not Pokemon Crunch. Or whatever it's it's Pokemon and it's berry bolt flavored there ain't even anything in the box as far as I'm aware you remember when Super Mario had that cereal and there was that that RFID chip that was put in the box that was like an amiibo that if you scan holy shit that was loud thank you for the host but if you if you scan the if you scan that thing on Super Mario Odyssey you would get like uh, like 10 coins or something stupid or you get like a free one up or whatever anyways on the on the back here's your evolution confusion that's the best they could think up. Starting from the first column, follow the evolution of each Pokemon in order. So we know we know Charmander, we know we know we know the boy. We know the boy, right? We know this. And then just even though I don't know these other Pokemon at all, I can just infer that you go this, and then you go like this, and then you go like this. I figured it out. And now I still have to eat my whole my whole thing of cereal. Which first partner Pokemon in the Alola region is a dual type? I don't know. One of those isn't even one of those isn't even a starter because uh, I think it's Rowlet who's not the starter. I don't know who it is. Who who knows? Rowlet is grass and flying type. Well, never mind. I'm wrong. Which of these Pokemon evolves from Infernape? Well, it's probably gonna be it's probably gonna be Monferno because we just we just looked on the we just we just looked on the back. There he is. Wait. Oh, evolves into, not from. I was about to say they got that wrong. What are the what? <laughs> what are the three types of starter Pokemon? Bulbasaur, Charmander, Squirtle. Which rare Pokeball can catch any Pokemon without fail? Uh, that would be... That would be the Omnipotent Ball, I believe. Regis, final answer. Oh wait, Rowlet is a starter? Fuck, I thought Rowlet was like the Pidgey of that generation. I don't, I don't know these things. I've never played these games. I've never eaten this cereal before. I ate the first cereal, and I hated it, because Lucky Charms is basically just cat food with marshmallows in it. Let's take, let's take a look at what you get. What you get for your money. I think this ran me like $2.50 or $3 or who knows. Yep. Those are crunch berries. And there's nothing, ain't nothing in, in there. Nothing printed in there. There's no characters. 
There's no characters to cut out and pop out or whatever and play with, like little paper figurines. There's none of that, so I'm gonna throw that over there. Is there anything in the in the bag? No. There's not like a there's not like a free fucking figurine. There's nothing in here, man. It's just cereal. It's just crunch. I got I fucking got duped. I got duped. I just I got crunch berries and marshmallows. Well, it's okay. Let's try some. I brought a bowl. I'm not I'm not just gonna dump them on the table like a fucking animal. It's <laughs> hang on. Just LSD. Just LSD has stopped being a lurker for a very rare brief period uh, to show his founder's subscriber badge and also to say, hot take, the marshmallows are the worst part of Lucky Charms. Well, we know who who grew up eating cat food. Hey, man, life's a, life's a struggle sometimes, all right? A, <laughs> I, I think Just LSD likes the cat food part of Lucky Charms for the same reason why I say spam is an acquired taste and one that I have. I, th <laughs> I think... <laughs> the surprise the surprise is that there is no surprise yeah y'all are probably right all right let's i want some marshmallows yeah we got some marshmallows in there now i was gonna pour some milk in with this but uh two things one i, I burned up uh burned up all my milk making a uh meal replacement shake this morning so uh whoops and secondly, I wasn't going to eat an entire bowl of cereal on the stream, so I didn't want to, like, waste milk by pouring it into the cereal and then, like, not eating it. Because milk, a gallon of milk costs as much as, like, a gallon of gas, if not more. So I got I to gotta be careful where I drive, and I got to be careful that I don't just literally just pour milk down the drain because I poured it inside crunch berries that I just left sitting for, for three hours because that's how long we do the show for. They look like, you know what they look like? They look like Very Berry Kicks. Do you guys remember those? Do you guys remember Very Berry Kicks? They were just like kicks, but they were these colors. I think they were blue ones too, though. All right, let's try. Let's try the. Let's try the purple. Let's try the purple. Nur nurples. Okay. It tastes like sawdust at first, but then I get a strong berry flavor from it. Artificial, of course. Of course, the box says natural, but I say that's bullshit. So let's try. Let's try some of the. Let's try some of the red dots. I don't think that's any different. No, no. Both the purple and the red dots taste exactly the same, and there's no. There's the. <laughs> Just LSD has filled us in. And he says, no part of Lucky Charms is good, but the marshmallows are crunchy sugar abominations. Fruity Pebbles are where it's at. Bonnie? <laughs> give me back my pebbles! <laughs> I'm never gonna give you back your pebbles! There's the marshmallows. Look at that. A monument to all of our sins. I don't think they're gonna taste any different either. Nope. And in fact... It, they just taste exactly like Lucky Charms marshmallows. Yep. Oh, man. I think Just LSD was onto something when he said crunchy sugar abominations. If you could cleanly bite into styrofoam, that's what biting into Lucky Charms marshmallows is like. And now, let's try, let's, let's try a little bit of both. Let's, let's try a little bit of, uh, a little bit of the whole grain, a little bit of the lightning bolt, It doesn't taste good or great, but it doesn't it doesn't taste it doesn't taste bad either. I have a whole box of this. I will probably eat the entire box. I don't know if I'll pour it with milk or if I'll just like snack on it dry. I found that like eating dry cereal as a snack overall kind of curbs my tendencies to just graze on other foods that are bad for you this cereal is not very good for you as we just saw from looking on the nutritional facts 
So it's not like it's not like just scamming on Raisin Bran and Total and things like that, or Honey Bunches of Oats. But it's something. At least there's some riboflavin in this. You know what I'm saying? And if the Adventures of Pete and Pete is to be believed, if you're ever gonna travel through time, you need to you need to take. You need to eat a lot of cereal that ha that's high in riboflavin because you need to have a lot of that in order to, to be able to travel through time. I learned some weird shit growing up watching Nickelodeon. I guess, you know what I could probably do is I already actually have a bag. I don't know why I bought uh, Crunch Berries already when I knew I had this on top of my refrigerator. Oh, it was because I had a fucking coupon. That's why I bought Crunch Berries. I'm just gonna dump this into the into the other bag of crunch berries, and I'm gonna I'm gonna hang on to the box for collector's purposes. I'm gonna break it down and flatten it so that it doesn't get lost or whatever. Unfortunately, I don't have a Pokemon box from the original cereal, but I do remember eating it because I was a, a hardcore Pokemaniac back then, and I hated the cereal, even though I convinced my parents to buy it multiple times. Cause goddamn it, it had. It had po it was Pokemon, all right. I had to have that. I had to have the Pokemon fruit roll-ups. I had to have Pokemon bed sheets. You can't eat those, but I'm just saying the rabbit hole went deep. Okay, the rabbit hole went deep. Vandermon says she ate the Pokemon Chef Boyardee can pasta. I did too, and the the Kraft mac and cheese or Kraft dinner as it's called up in Canada. That's the most depressing thing. Why is Kraft Macaroni and Cheese just straight up called Kraft Dinner in Canada? That ain't dinner. That ain't, you can't just cook that box of mac and cheese and call that dinner. I mean, I know, I know a lot of lonely people out there do. And if you're, if you're, if you're watching this, if you're one of those people, stop it. Okay? At least chop up some hot dogs and put those in there. Do something. Jazz it up. Kick it up with some, with some Fritos and mix that in a afterwards. Not so they get soggy. But give it some crunch. Give it, kick it up a notch, okay? Hell, put some soy sauce in there. Get fucking freaky with it. Have some fucking pride in yourselves, okay? Don't just eat, don't just eat a box of Kraft Mac and Cheese because they're they're three for a dollar or however much they are at the store. Have some, have some self-respect, okay? Cube up some spam, okay? Just really good. Just, just fucking hit the poverty bingo. Cube up some spam and have some, have some fucking skim milk to go with it. I guess I don't know. That's I don't have the box anymore. I threw the box over there, but that's that's Pokemon cereal, or just Pokemon. It's not Pokemon cereal. It's not what it says on the box. The box just says the. It's <laughs> it's very Omega Mart esque. It's just a box full of Pokemon. The flavor is berry bolt or bolt berry or something. It just it just tastes like a crappier uh, wild berry kicks, and the 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 uh, marshmallows taste exactly like Lucky Charms marshmallows. It's not overly sweet. I'll say that much. There's a subtleness to the berry flavor. It's not just like covered in sugar, frosted flakes. You know, Tony the Tiger personally came all over this bowl of frosted flakes. And we all know that tiger jizz is pure corn syrup, right? It's not, it's not that. It's not overly sweet. So, I guess it's something that you can just be duped into feeling good about eating, so that you don't think it's as bad for you as it probably really is. I think it's only like 130 calories per serving, though. So it's not, it's not gonna kill you. It's just not that great. And there's much better ways of getting your daily intake of vitamins. Like, I don't know, like a fucking one a day. Those seem to be pretty, pretty, uh, utilitarian, I guess. But if you're looking for something, I mean, it, if you got kids, they'll probably like it because they like Pokemon. If you're young at heart, you'll probably like it because it's got Pokemon on it. So who the fuck am I kidding? By, by the time you saw this video, you knew whether or not you were going to buy this cereal and enjoy it. And what I have to say matters not, matters not. You just... You just watched a video that's probably 20 minutes long about me talking about this crap, this crap, and shooting the shit with chat about spam and craft dinner. So with that said, thank you for tuning in to this edition of Gator Unbox. I've been your host, Draco, and, uh, you know, if you like this video, tell the YouTube algorithm to go fuck itself. Thanks for checking out this video by Gatorbox. To see more videos like it, please subscribe to the channel. 
You can also support this project financially at patreon.com forward slash Gatorbox. You can also follow us at twitch.tv forward slash Gatorbox to catch us live every Friday night at 9 p.m. Central Time for our main show. Thanks for watching this video, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.